Hello and welcome to a video enrichment brought to you by the Eugene Family YMCA. My name is Amelia and I'm an after school teacher here at the Y and I'm here to lead you in an online at home enrichment activity. These activities are designed for you to use materials you have readily available at home. Thank you for tuning in and let's get started. Hi everyone. So today we're going to be doing an activity called DIY flight school. We're going to learn how to create two different types of paper airplanes. Uh, we're also going to make a scoreboard out of cardboard to put our flight skills to the test. Can you fly your plane through a target? For this project, you're going to need a piece of cardboard, some scissors, markers or paint, and of course, some paper. Let's get started. First, I'm going to show you how to make a classic paper airplane. You're going to fold the paper in half, hot dog style, just like this. Then you're gonna unfold the paper and fold the top two corners towards the middle to make a point. Just like that. Try to get the end as pointy as you can. Then you're going to take the whole thing and fold it in half hot dog style again. Be sure to press down all those creases. Lastly, you're going to fold the wings down to meet edges of the bottom of the plane, just like that, and flip it over, fold the other side, boom, just like that, you've got yourself a classic paper airplane. Now you don't have to fold the wings exactly like this. You can fold them at an angle, you can fold them a little shorter, kind of just make it your own. That is the classic paper airplane. The style is meant for distance and accuracy when you throw it. Here is another type of plane that you can make. This one can do tricks and kind of has a tendency to flip upside down mid-flight. It's an acrobatic style, so it flies a little differently than the one that I showed you first. You're going to take your paper and fold it in half hot dog style. Then you're going to open it back up. Just like the last one, you're going to fold the top two corners down to the middle to make a point. should look like this. Next, you're going to fold the peak down to make a square with your paper. So just fold it on down. And then your paper should look like this. Next, you're going to fold the top two corners down to the center about an inch above this point. So you're going to take the corners just about there about an inch, and then push it down. Now you're going to do the same thing to the other corner. Make sure it meets in the middle. Then you're going to press it down. Then you're going to take the little point down here and fold it up over those flaps. You're securing them down. Then it should look like that. Now you're going to fold the whole thing in half. But the fold, instead of going like this with it in, you're going to do it the other way so the folds are on the outside. And you're going to press it down. And 
lastly, you are going to take each flap and fold it down to make the wings. Now you don't have to fold it down perfectly flat. You can fold it at an angle or you could fold it up. It's really up to you. I'm gonna fold mine at about a bit of an angle. Then you're gonna do the other side. Make sure those wings match up with each other. Boom, you've got yourself an acrobatic airplane. This is what it should look like. Now that you've learned how to make your paper airplanes, it is time to make the scoreboard. So you're gonna take a piece of cardboard. I'm using a cereal box that I had. And you are going to draw some big circles on it. You're gonna be cutting these circles out so you can try and throw your paper airplanes through them. Now, uh, these are the targets that your planes are flying to. I'm putting three targets on mine. You can put however many or as few as you want on your board. So once you've drawn the circles, you can carefully cut them out. You can get a parent to help you with this part if it's a little tough. Now, once you've drawn the circles and cut them out, you're ready to decorate. I'm gonna be using markers to decorate mine, but you can definitely use paints, colored pencils, or crayons if you would like. All right, here is what my finished flight school board looks like. I hung it up in my kitchen, but you can definitely set it up pretty much anywhere you want as long as it's standing up and you can easily get the plane through the holes on the board then you're all good so something really important is to make sure that your planes can actually fit through the holes i actually found that one of mine was a little bit too big so i decided to make a mini version of it to play the game but luckily my acrobatic plane from earlier is able to fit through. So take a couple steps back and get ready to practice for your flight school. I hope you enjoyed this at home enrichment project. Thank you so much for tuning in and we hope that you join us next time for another online activity from the Eugene family YMCA. Bye.